Hey everyone, PFD back here. This is gonna be the intro part to the video, and I'm sorry I haven't made a video in a, uh, for the Firebird in a while. Um, I haven't gotten to it. I haven't been able to get to around. I haven't been, got, been able to get around to it. Um, I finally have the carburetor for it. Brand new one fully rebuilt everything and hopefully I'll be able to get to the car um, to the valve covers also and in this one uh, now you can't see it um, you might be able to see the stuff has been blocked off for all the emission system so that will make it a lot easier this is the same carburetor that is on my Firebird right now. Um, it's just, uh, let's see, the only difference is, is that the two vacuum ports in front of it have been like, I don't know, somehow cut off, but not cut off at the same time. Somehow on the website and everywhere I look, it comes up as a marine carburetor for some reason. It's really weird, it's really weird. I don't know but it works, right? It is the EMU4 carburetor, something like that. I don't know, I, I can't remember. I can, I can never remember <laughs> the exact name for this. Now, um, the model number, the model number, Quadrajet, where is it? On mine, it was on the back side over here. Um, well, it was on the back side over here. Um, just looking on it. In USA. See, on the back of this right here, it, oh, you can't see it, but it does say GM. Made in USA, so you know it is official. They have capped off this little thing in the back right here. So. Everything looks really, really good. You um, can see the choke cable uh, thingy. It feels really, really nice. It's very solid. Um, uh, and when I, in the bottom, you can see the little adjustment port. Yeah, right here. This adjust on mine. These aren't even these aren't even drilled out on mine, which is this shows you in 36, 37 years, my carburetor has not been touched. This one has, of course, since it's been rebuilt. It's all nice and shiny. But enough with this intro. Next time you'll see me, I should be walking up to it and taking the bolts off. We'll see what happens next. See you guys in the next clip. Okay, uh, it's really cold out, so hopefully my battery dra doesn't drop dramatically. We'll see. Here's the carburetor and everything. For some reason, even though I've uh, had it covered up, seems like, let's see, there's the thing that group in between the exhaust. Even though um, I had it covered up, for some reason, water still got into here, which is strange. Uh, there's a bunch of water all in the bunch of water all in that's not on the outside that is in the inside for some reason the water got it inside it's on top of the roof so it's it's not even that humid out which is really weird okay so here's electric choke that's important we don't oops we don't need this anymore don't need this don't need that all right <sighs> okay 
Okay, so that's a fuel return system. And okay. So these two two lines, including this. Oh, you, you can't see what I'm doing. Let me take you off. Oh, okay. Ooh. Okay. So this, this which goes to this. That's part of the missions, probably. Um, don't need that. Linkages. Um, okay. So, I'm supposing... Huh. I have... Oh, that's to the carburetor cup cover. Oh, okay. Okay. So, that's on the back of that. So that's gonna have to be disconnected. And this disconnected as well. Oh, I have to be doing this all outside. Fun. And as well as that. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> that's maybe a 12 or so, I don't know. Well, I'll figure it out. Right? And then uh, to the valve covers, I'm gonna have to take this bracket off. And... Hmm. Let's see. Okay, there's a bolt there. There, and there, and where's the other one? Up there. So I have to get those bolts, and I think this goes to the air conditioner. Yes, it does. And this goes to the math sensor. I know I need a few things here. Now, as you, you can see, on this side, this is a totally different story. Look how shiny that is. Look at that. Um, so I'm going to need to some, well, I might be able to get away with this. Okay, there we go. And looks like, those are the charging wires. I mean, the alternator. I don't know why the volt gauge don't work. Does anything look wrong with you? Wrong to you? I, I don't know. I don't know. Weird. So, I might be able to get to those fairly easy. See, it's, you can start to see the engine now. That's really cool. I don't know what engine color this is, or where the block code is. I don't know. Uh, where's my cow tag? Up oh, there it is. Right there. So, let's get to it. Woo! <laughs> Try a different strategy. Um, it's going to be too hard going from here to back up there, so I'm just going to pull it out. I really don't want to start it. It doesn't idle as you guys know. So let's just do it this way.
I saw that. Man, you could hear everything creak and every you could hear the whole rope is under tension. She didn't want to move, but she did. <laughs> Oh yeah, sunk in the ground a little bit. She's like, no, don't take me. All right, here. Oh, geez, this is gonna be interesting. Okay. Let me, let me. Oh, jeez. Okay. Okay, the wheels turned. Let's try this again. Now, someone should be in there, but once we get to a certain part, then I'll get my dad. All right. Oh, need reposition. Okay. Try number two or three or whatever. Okay, now sorry this is gonna be a long video today. Um, just keep watching, we'll get there. how you tow a car. I'm just going to cut this slack and I'm going to cut it here because I don't know if you guys want to watch. You, you guys need to comment below if you want to see stuff like this. I'm just going to basically move it up there, push it into there, and then I'll get back to you guys when, um, when I get to that point. Okay. All right. Okay.
Well, uh, now it should come off. Now I can see how bad that is. There'll be a filter screen behind that. Yeah, and that probably has been changed. So we'll see what 70,000 miles looks like. Oh, hmm. maybe it has been changed. Look at that. That looks pretty new, actually. Yeah, it may have been changed way back, just hadn't been run much since then. That's awful. Well, ooh, wow. Yeah. Now, is there a spring behind it? Yep. Oh, wow. Yeah, look at that. Huh. Yep, that fuel def that eth what is it? Ethanol does that, right? Mm. All that rust. Yeah. Mm. Shame. Could probably get it on a bench and <laughs> Let's see, this is loose from here. This will have a screw now. See where's the other ridge? Well, now we can find the. Oh, wait, that has been changed. Is that the um, thread? What do you call that? Thread sealer? The... Could be Teflon tape, but you see, this is seized up on on the fitting. Is the problem? The line is seized in the fitting. Oh, right. Mm. Now I'm worried about that thing back there. That'll be next. Check this out. I just got one on it on like a I don't know forgot one got it on this side and it broke loose I'm in luck and this is in fact the brake booster right here okay so now that I've got that disconnected that disconnected all I need to do now is this that and this and that and comes right up okay ah oh, there we go oh, only if everything worked that way <clears throat> there we go Let's try that again. Lost you there for a second. Oh, this one's a little tough. He's stronger than that. Oh, okay, there we go. There. I'll make sure they're all loose before I turn off the camera. Okay, they're all loose. I'll be back with you guys when they're all loose. Alright, I know it's dark out, but it's it's time to get those linkages off. I might be in the way a few times. what I'm gonna have to transfer over. Thought I was gonna have you on a tripod, but I guess I'm gonna need you up close. A 
Okay, so this has to come off. It has to be turned. I'm gonna sit for a couple days. You know what? I was gonna say. Okay, that is for. Oh yeah, there's definitely gonna be some things needed to be transferred over. Okay, so that goes in, that holds it. This is for this one, that's for that one. Okay, the big clip. That's that. Now, this, how does this come off? Just slides forward. Okay. Oh. Okay, there we go. You saw it. This is the first time this has been off. Oh god, it's heavy. Oh. Now, obviously, I'm gonna work off camera transferring the parts and whatnot, but now we can get a look about how, how, how it looks. Wow. That gasket was shot, I think. I'll have to look at the carburetor. But I mean, this looks fine. Otherwise. Hmm. You can see the valve covers are very dirty. All this is the WD-40 that I sprayed on it. Obviously, I'm going to need to wipe that off. Huh. All right.